Welcome to the Faces of Influenza, a portrait gallery of people who have been affected by the often devastating impacts of influenza. In cooperation with Public Health Seattle and King County, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the American Lung Association of the Northwest, we want to encourage all at-risk individuals to get an influenza vaccination. People should try to get vaccinated as soon as possible, but even being vaccinated as late as January or February can protect people during the peak of the influenza season. Go to facesofinfluenza.org for more information and to use the clinic locator to find the nearest clinic to get your immunization. Barbara Wheeler, nurse practitioner at Virginia Mason Medical Center, lost her mother to influenza. As a result of her experience on both a personal and professional level, she is encouraging people to take the preventative measure and get immunized to protect themselves and others. About 10 years ago, my mother who had emphysema, was, uh, who normally got her flu shot every year, uh, was going on the trip of a lifetime with my two sisters and she didn't get her flu shot. Um, about four months later, she got the flu and she died. She could have gotten the flu shot and she would have been protected and she would probably still be here 10 years later. Actor and father Dean Kane is an asthmatic. People with asthma like Dean are recommended for immunization every year. Dean and his son Christopher, who also suffers from asthma, get vaccinated annually. As a father and as an asthmatic, I am also one of the more than 220 million faces of influenza people who should be immunized each and every year. And I did get immunized. Children, parents, husbands, grandparents, brothers, mothers. My mother did not get her influenza vaccination this year. And right, right now, she's at home suffering with the flu. As a public safety official, a mother of two grown children, King County Sheriff Sue Rahr knows immunization is the key to preventing the spread of infections. Well, King County offers vaccinations to all of our workforce. This is particularly important in the Sheriff's Office. I have to have a healthy workforce to be able to go out and protect the public. Influenza is not the common cold. It's serious. Each year, approximately 226,000 people in the U.S. are hospitalized with complications from influenza. An average of 36,000 people die annually from influenza and its complications. Influenza is an illness caused by the influenza virus and it causes a sudden onset of fever, chills, cough, and muscle aches and pains. Most healthy people get over influenza in three to seven days, but for some people, like the very old and the very young, influenza can be very serious. I think people don't really realize how much worse the flu is than a cold. In fact, I often don't see people who have the flu because they're too sick to come in. Flu vaccine is a very effective way of protecting the individual against flu and also protecting people in the community who are at risk of complications so we don't spread the disease to them, as well as people in the community who for various reasons may not be able to receive vaccine. We'll be viewing the Faces of Influenza Portrait Gallery and hearing from public officials about the importance of an influenza vaccination for those under six years of age and those over 50. Children transmit the virus very easily amongst themselves, and as every parent knows, children infect adults very easily as well. So when you protect children, you're also doing a small part to prevent the spread of influenza in the community. In addition to children and seniors, moms are another key group that should be immunized. Mothers and children interact with other mothers and children. Children are in daycare settings and in classrooms, so it's very easy for disease to spread in those settings. And when the moms and children are vaccinated, we reduce the chances of other people being infected. It's important to remember that influenza is an illness that can impact others. I have a niece who has had an organ transplant, and I've become very sensitive to how important it is not to be passing germs on to other folks. You just don't know how fragile someone else's health might be. Um, if you don't do it to protect yourself, you have to think about protecting those people you come in contact with. Influenza is spread by the respiratory route 
meaning things like sneezing, coughing, and even talking can spread the flu. Influenza virus can also survive outside the body on the hands, so direct contact can also spread the virus. In addition to getting your influenza vaccination, there are other things you can do to protect yourself. People should also cover their coughs, wash their hands frequently, and if they're ill, stay home from work or school. The American Lung Association of the Northwest is the sponsor of the Faces of Influenza exhibit and is dedicated to reducing all types of respiratory ailments. The American Lung Association of the Northwest has an overall mission statement that addresses tobacco control, clean air, and common lung diseases affecting adults and children. That latter part of the program, to prevent lung disease, coincides with the current effort called the Faces of Influenza. This is a program partnered with Santa Fe Pasteur and several other centers in the country to improve upon our immunization rates for people who require protection from influenza this upcoming year. Despite serious health risks associated with influenza, especially for people with chronic health problems, young children and those 50 years and older, not enough people get immunized. More than two out of three Americans should be vaccinated every year, which means it's likely each one of us knows someone whose well-being, good health, or life depends on getting an influenza immunization each year. Ideally, people should receive their influenza vaccine from October through February, prior to the peak of the influenza season. Even vaccinating after the new year is a good idea so you're prepared for the peak of the influenza season. People can go to their private health care provider to receive vaccine or to one of our public health clinics, as well as many public sites that are available throughout the county. Most people who have the flu once are first in line the next year to get uh, the flu shot, and they will be absolutely stunned by how severe the flu is. People in all walks of life are becoming aware that the best way to reduce the effects of influenza is through annual vaccination. It's safe and it's effective. Thank you for joining us to learn about the Faces of Influenza Portrait Gallery of people recommended for annual influenza immunization. Visit facesofinfluenza.org for more information about influenza and to view the online portrait gallery. For more information about influenza immunizations and availability, visit metrokc.gov slash health or call 206-296 4949. Also, you can go to facesofinfluenza.org to use the clinic locator to find the times and dates of the nearest clinic that is providing influenza vaccinations. Get your influenza immunization. Thank you. Please visit the Faces of Influenza Portrait Gallery on January 8th at the South Center Mall from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The gallery, which is touring the United States, includes black and white portraits and personal stories of famous and not-so-famous Americans who should be immunized.